What's up, guys? I'm back. It has been extremely crazy since I last started my summer term. I mean, projects back to back. And then on top of that, I have to go out and shoot for my projects. It's just been crazy all around. So I apologize for the long delay. But I do have another product for you, product review for you. And it is from Shea Moisture, as you can see. This one is from the African Black Soap Collection, particularly the African Black Soap Facial Collection. This right here is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Facial Mask. I ended up picking this up at Ulta Beauty for exactly... Oh, jeez, how much was it? I think it was like... Oh, wow. I'm gonna, I don't even remember. If I had to guess, it was probably between $10.99 to $11.99 or something around that. Because I remember picking this up for half the price since it was buy one, buy a Shea Moisture product, get one 50% off at the time that I purchased this. So if I had to guess, it was, I'll put the real price in the description. I'm really sorry. I cannot even remember because my mind has been so busy with other, with school projects and whatnot. But I ended up picking this up from Ulta Beauty for um, half the price because, like I said, it was a buy one, get one 50% off. I ended up purchasing this with another product. I believe it was the toner, which I will do a review on sometime later. But this mask, I ended up picking this mask, and this is a facial mask from the African Black Soap Collection for oily and blemished skin. And this is what the product itself looks like, if you can see it. It is a clay-like thing. It has two clays in it, kaolin clay and bentonite clay. If you're familiar with those clays, then you might might be interested in this mask here. That's what the label looks like. And it tells you a few more stuff, stuff here. And it comes in this little bitty jar. Now, I, have, I haven't really been looking into facial mask of sorts because usually I just wash... I just cleanse, tone, and then moisturize my skin. But I figured I'd give my skin some little t a few TLC. So I decided to pick this up to see how it worked. I use this several times in order so I can get a more accurate review on it of sorts. Okay? I can safely say that this mask here... Just a moment. I can safely say that this mask here... It did what it was supposed to do for my skin, since my skin is very oily and it gets even worse since we are suffering from extremely high temperatures, but my skin is very oily. This mask here did what it was supposed to do, but I don't really see much of a difference in terms of it, you know, changing my skin as much. I mean, it feels great and the consistency, you don't even need a lot of this stuff. All you have to do is just... Don't know if my camera's picking it up. It rubs on, it's very smooth and everything. And yeah, you don't really need a lot of it. All you gotta do is take a little bit of it and massage it right onto your face and leave it on for up to 10 minutes. I usually leave it on for exactly up to that amount and then I rinse it off. But not a lot is needed for your skin. It does control the oil on my face, particularly I like to put a lot on my T-zone area, which is like my nose all the way up, pretty much around my nose area because that's the only place on my face where it's so super oily no matter what I do. So I usually like to concentrate the mask there, but I've used this several times and I mean it does the job properly and it does make my face it doesn't leave my face in a very tight kind of feeling after I rinse it off with cool water, which is what you're supposed to do. It, it just makes my face feel really clean and comfortable and a bit fresh. Now, I will warn you, this stuff does tingle because it has, I believe it has peppermint and, yes, it has peppermint, spearmint, and eucalyptus oils in it. So, if you have ultra-sensitive skin, I would say avoid this one because this might break out your skin since it has those oils in it. But if you have skin like me, you'll feel this refreshing tingle after after the um after a while after you put it onto your face. And so you can see as you can see on my hand, it dries in a clear slightly oily formation on your face. It doesn't dry into this weird 
you know, mask-like thing that makes you look really funny. It dries into a clear kind of mask on your face. But I tried this, and it does a good job on my face. It controls the oil very well, but I feel like when it comes to refining my skin or fading out any spots and any blemish scars or any uneven skin tone and whatnot i feel like it doesn't really do that much of a job which is kind of expected because really this mask is not meant to refine your skin it's meant to balance your oily or combination skin or blemish skin and i think it does the job pretty properly would i purchase it again Maybe, maybe not. I'm still on the fence about it. I end up getting this for like half the price and I will put the real price of it in the description. I'm not sure if I would purchase this again. I mean, it's a great mask and you don't, and I don't even need a lot of it. Just like a couple dabs around my face, the same way I would apply that the problem skin moisturizer, but I'll see in the future. I mean, if I'm in the mood for a mask and for a facial mask, then I might purchase this stuff again. But until then, I'm kind of on the fence about it. But if you have, like, oily combination blemish-prone skin, or if your skin gets really bad during the times of the month, if you're a woman, this doesn't really apply to guys, then you can pick this stuff up. I mean, you can find it at Ulta Beauty. That's the only place I know where you can find this. And like I said before, said before a few times, I will put the price in the, pro in the description. But... That's pretty much my review on it. It's a great mask, but don't expect it to completely refine your skin. It will it will clear up your skin. It will balance everything out. Just don't expect it to completely refine your skin or don't expect this to be anti-aging, okay? If you want anti-aging, I recommend going for the Raw Shea Butter Facial Mask, which they do have. But that's my review on this stuff. If you've tried it before... I'd love to hear how it worked for you. You can leave your experience in the comments below. I read the comments all the time. If you like my review, leave a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And I'm really sorry for the delays and more stuff will be coming to you soon. I've just been extremely busy. So stay tuned and I will see you soon. <music>